In the history of art, prehistoric art is all art produced in proliterate. Prehistorical cultures beginning somewhere in very late geological history, and generally continuing until that culture either develops writing or other methods of record keeping, or makes significant contact with another culture that has, and that makes some record of major historical events. At this point ancient art begins, for the older literate cultures. The end date for what is covered by the term thus varies greatly between different parts of the world. The very earliest human artifacts showing evidence of workmanship with an artistic purpose are the subject of some debate. It is clear that such workmanship existed by 40,000 years ago in the Upper Paleolithic era. However there is evidence of artistic activity dating as far back as 500,000 years ago performed by Homo erectus. From the Upper Paleolithic through the Mesolithic, cave paintings and portable arts such as figurines and beads predominated, with decorative figured workings also seen on some utilitarian objects. In the Neolithic evidence of early pottery appeared, as did sculpture and the construction of megaliths. Early rock art also first appeared in the Neolithic. The advent of metalworking in the Bronze Age brought additional media available for use in making art, an increase in stylistic diversity, and the creation of objects that did not have any obvious function other than art. It also saw the development in some areas of artisans, a class of people specializing in the production of art, as well as early writing systems. By the Iron Age, civilizations with writing had arisen from ancient Egypt to ancient China. Many indigenous peoples from around the world continued to produce artistic works distinctive to their geographic area and culture, until exploration and commerce brought record-keeping methods to them. Some cultures, notably the Maya civilization, independently developed writing during the time they flourished, which was then later lost. These cultures may be classified as prehistoric, especially if their writing systems have not been deciphered. Paleolithic Era Lower and Middle Paleolithic The earliest undisputed art originated with the Aurignacian archaeological culture in the Upper Paleolithic. However, there is some evidence that the preference for the aesthetic emerged in the Middle Paleolithic, from 100,000 to 50,000 years ago. Some archaeologists have interpreted certain Middle Paleolithic artifacts as early examples of artistic expression. The symmetry of artifacts, evidence of attention to the detail of tool shape, has led some investigators to conceive of Aculean hand axes and especially laurel points as having been produced with a degree of artistic expression. Similarly, a zigzag etching made with a shark tooth on a freshwater clam shell around 500,000 years ago, associated with Homo erectus, was proposed as the earliest evidence of artistic activity in 2014. The mask of La Roche Cotard has been taken as evidence of Neanderthal figurative art, although in a period post dating their contact with Homo sapiens. There are other claims of Middle Paleolithic sculpture, dubbed the Venus of Tantan and the Venus of Barakat Ram. This suggested to some researchers that early Homo sapiens were capable of abstraction and production of abstract art or symbolic art. Several archaeologists including Richard Klein of Stanford are hesitant to accept the Blombos Caves as the first example of actual art. Upper Paleolithic The oldest undisputed works of figurative art were found in the Schwabischer Alb, Baden-Württemberg, Germany. The earliest of these, the Venus figurine known as the Venus of Hohlefels and the Lohenmensch figurine date to some 40,000 years ago. Further depictional art from the Upper Paleolithic period includes cave painting and portable art. Venus figurines like the Venus of Willendorf, as well as animal carvings like the swimming reindeer, wolverine pendant of Les Isis, and several of the objects known as Batons de Commandment. Cave paintings from the Indonesian island of Sulawesi were in 2014 found to be 40,000 years old, a similar date to the oldest European cave art.
which suggests a much older origin for this type of art, perhaps in Africa. Monumental open-air art in Europe from this period include Coa Valley and Mazuco in Portugal, Domingo Garcia and Sigur Verde in Spain, and Falso in France. A cave at Turabong in South Korea containing human remains has been found to contain carved deer bones and depictions of deer that may be as much as 40,000 years old. Petroglyphs of deer or reindeer found at Sokchangri may also date to the Upper Paleolithic. Potshards in a style reminiscent of early Japanese work have been found at Kozenri on Jeju Island, which, due to lower sea levels at the time, would have been accessible from Japan. The oldest petroglyphs are dated to approximately the Mesolithic and later Papaleolithic boundary, about 10,000 to 12,000 years ago. The earliest undisputed African rock art dates back about 10,000 years. The first naturalistic paintings of humans found in Africa date back about 8,000 years apparently originating in the Nile River Valley spread as far west as Mali about 10,000 years ago. Noted sites containing early art include Tassi Linaj in southern Algeria, Tadrat Akakus in Libya, and the Tabesti Mountains in northern Chad. Rock carvings at the Wonderwork Cave in South Africa have been dated to this age. Contentious dates as far back as 29,000 years have been obtained at a site in Tanzania. A site at the Apollo 11 cave complex in Namibia has been dated to 27,000 years. Asia. Asia was the cradle for several significant civilizations, most notably those of China and South Asia. The prehistory of Eastern Asia is especially interesting, as the relatively early introduction of writing and historical record-keeping in China has a notable impact on the immediately surrounding cultures and geographic areas. Little of the very rich traditions of the art of Mesopotamia counts as prehistoric, as writing was introduced so early there. But neighboring cultures such as Urartu, Luristan and Persia had significant and complex artistic traditions. Russia the Shigar Idol is the most ancient wooden sculpture in the world. It was made during the Mesolithic era, around 7500 BC. The idol was discovered in 1894, in the peat bog of Shigar, on the eastern slope of the Middle Urals. Western Russia participated in several phases of European prehistoric art, and southern Russia and Ukraine are key areas where nomadic steppes art is found, for which see below. Indian subcontinent The earliest Indian paintings were the rock paintings of prehistoric times. The petroglyphs is found in places like the rock shelters of Bambetka, and some of them are older than 5500 BC. The Indus Valley civilization produced fine small cylinder seals and sculptures, and may have been literate. But after its collapse there are relatively few artistic remains until the literate period, probably as perishable materials were used. China prehistoric artwork such as painted pottery in Neolithic China can be traced back to the Yangshao culture and Longshan culture of the Yellow River Valley. During China's Bronze Age, Chinese of the ancient Shang Dynasty and Zhou Dynasty produced multitudes of Chinese ritual bronzes which are elaborate versions of ordinary vessels and other objects used in rituals of ancestor veneration, decorated with Tao Shei motifs and by the late Shang Chinese bronze inscriptions. Discoveries in 1987 in Sanqing in central China revealed a previously unknown pre-literate Bronze Age culture whose artifacts included spectacular, very large bronze figures and which appeared culturally very different from the contemporary late Shang, which has always formed part of the account of the continuous tradition of Chinese culture. Japan according to archaeological evidence, the Jomon people in ancient Japan were among the first to develop pottery that dated from the 11th millennium BC. With growing sophistication, the Jomon created patterns by impressing the wet clay with braided or unbraided cord and sticks. Korea The earliest examples of Korean art consist of Stone Age works dating from 3000 BCE. These mainly consist of votive sculptures, although petroglyphs have also been recently rediscovered. 
rock arts, elaborate stone tools, and potteries were also prevalent. This early period was followed by the art styles of various Korean kingdoms and dynasties. In these periods, artists often adopted Chinese style in their artworks. However, Koreans not only adopted but also modified Chinese culture with the native preference for simple elegance, purity of nature and spontaneity. This filtering of Chinese styles later influenced Japanese artistic traditions due to cultural and geographical circumstances. The prehistory of Korean ends with the founding of the Three Kingdoms of Korea, which are documented in the Sam Guk Sagi a 12th-century CE text written in classical Chinese. As beginning in the 1st century BCE, some mention of earlier history is also made in Chinese texts, like the 3rd century CE Sangguoji. Zhuman period clearer evidence of culture emerges in the late Neolithic, known in Korea as the Zhuman pottery period. With pottery similar to that found in the adjacent regions of China, decorated with Z-shaped patterns, the earliest Neolithic sites with pottery remains, for example Osanri, date to 6000-4500 BCE. This pottery is characterized by comb patterning, with the pot frequently having a pointed base. Ornaments from this time include masks made of shell, with notable finds at Tong Sam Dong, Osan Ri, and Sanam Ri. Hand-shaped clay figurines have been found at Nong Po Dong. Mu Moon period During the Mu Moon pottery period, roughly between 1500 BCE and 300 BCE, agriculture expanded and evidence of larger-scale political structures became apparent, as villages became larger and some burials more elaborate. Megalithic tombs and dolmens throughout Korea date to this time. The pottery of the time is in a distinctive undecorated style. Many of these changes in style may have occurred due to immigration of new peoples from the north, although this is a subject of debate. At a number of sites in southern Korea there are rock art panels that are thought to date from this period, mainly for stylistic reasons. While the exact date of the introduction of bronzework into Korea is also a matter of debate, it is clear that bronze was being worked by about 700 BCE. Finds include stylistically distinctive daggers, mirrors, and belt buckles, with evidence by the 1st century BCE of a widespread, locally distinctive, bronze-working culture. Proto-historic Korea The time between 300 BC and the founding and stabilization of the Three Kingdoms around 300 CE is characterized artistically and archaeologically by increasing trade with China and Japan something that Chinese histories of the time corroborate. The expansionist Chinese invaded and established commanderies in northern Korea as early as the 1st century BCE. They were driven out by the 4th century CE. The remains of some of these, especially that of Lelang, near modern Pyongyang, have yielded many artifacts in a typical Han style. Chinese histories also record the beginnings of ironworks in Korea in the 1st century BCE. Stoneware and kiln-fired pottery also appears to date from this time, although there is controversy over the dates. Pottery of distinctly Japanese origin is found in Korea, and metalwork of Korean origin is found in northeastern China. Steps art Superb samples of steps art, mostly golden jewelry and trappings for horse, are found over a vast expanse of land stretching from Hungary to Mongolia. Dating from the period between the 7th and 3rd centuries BC, the objects are usually diminutive, as may be expected from nomadic people always on the move. Art of the steppes is primarily an animal art, i.e., combat scenes involving several animals or single animal figures predominate. The best known of the various peoples involved are the Scythians, at the European end of the steppe, who were especially likely to bury gold items. Among the most famous finds was made in 1947, when the Soviet archaeologist Sergei Rudenko discovered a royal burial at Patsrik, Altai Mountains.
which featured, among many other important objects, the most ancient extant pile rug, probably made in Persia, unusually for prehistoric burials. Those in the northern parts of the area may preserve organic materials such as wood and textiles that normally would decay. Steps people both gave and took influences from neighboring cultures from Europe to China, and later Scythian pieces are heavily influenced by ancient Greek style, and probably often made by Greeks in Scythia.